In this video, we're going to explore the Avantis Shore integration with Dante. You can monitor your wireless RF channels directly in the channel strip on the console if you have compatible RF microphone receivers. When using Dante, you can choose to put your Shure wireless receiver into either split or redundant mode. In split mode, the control data is carried down a separate network connection. This must be connected to the network port on the Avantis. This is also the mode you would use if you're going to connect your wireless receiver using an XLR cable rather than Dante. You'll need to ensure that all of your devices are on the same IP address range, but don't have conflicting IP addresses. Remember that the Dante card has its own IP address, separate to the Avantis IP address. These will both need to be in the same subnet as the microphones. In redundant mode, the control data is sent together with the Dante audio. You can connect the wireless receiver to an Allen & Heath Dante card with one or two cables to the primary and secondary ports. If you're using a DLive Dante 64 or Dante 128 card, you'll need to put the control network switch into the on position. If you're using an older 48kHz M Dante card, you'll need to connect the control network port to the network port on the Avantis. If you're using Dante, you'll now need to ensure that all of the channels are patched in Dante controller and that a clock leader has been selected. We recommend choosing the Dante card in the Avantis as the clock leader, and you will also need to enable Sync to External. Next, patch your channels from your wireless receivers to the Dante card in Dante Controller. If you're unable to patch, ensure all of your wireless receivers and Avantis are running at the same sample rate. Next, we'll need to associate the input channels with the Shure device. First, navigate to Setup, Config, RF Devices. If you've not used Shure integration yet, you'll need to turn it on. Choose each RF device in the top section and associate it with a socket on the Avantis by choosing either the Dante I.O. card and the Dante channel or the analog input. If there are no devices in the top section, check your IP addresses are in the same subnet and that the control bridge switch is set to on on your Dante card if you're using one. You can also unassign previously assigned Shure channels here. Now that we've told the console which Shure channels are associated with which input sockets, we can see a new RF info area in bank view on the preamp section. We can see at a glance the RF level, signal level, and battery information. You can touch this section for more RF info.